Hi, welcome back to MS247366. It's really good to see you again. Um, it's been a long time since I uploaded, I know. And um, today I just thought I would we'd sit and chat, maybe. <laughs> Do a little talking about MS. You know, <laughs> what I do. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Like I said, I'd like to just kind of maybe talk about my journey with MS or where I'm at right now, whatever. Because, um, you know, it's just been weird. Um, when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, um, I had no idea what it even was. The only thing I knew about it was that um, Annette Funicello had it. So I tried to find out everything I could about it. Now, this was 1996, so there was no Google. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure how I did the research I did do. I think I probably, I went to the library at least once, I'm sure. And there was some information on the fairly new World Wide Web. <laughs> but I don't remember if that was what I did or not. Um, I probably, I probably did ask Jeeves. <laughs> you know, I probably asked Jeeves what multiple sclerosis was. What I found out wasn't terribly encouraging. Um, in fact, uh, I was super scared of what would happen to me. Um, at the time, I lived with a friend of mine, and she did everything she could to help me find out information. We talked about it a lot, and um, that general time frame is also when I went, when I, um, that time frame was also about the time when I met the man um, I would eventually marry, uh, my husband, and that was actually due to me taking care of his uh, four-year-old daughter. Uh, but back to my point, and I, I did have a point, I'm sure of it, um, it wasn't as easy to find information in 1996 as it is in 2020, and I really don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, if I had had the access to information then that I have now, I may have been a far more defeated MS patient. Um, I knew there was any number of possible outcomes with multiple sclerosis diagnosis and that some of those weren't very encouraging. However, I wasn't bombarded with more information and possible symptoms and what can happen as someone diagnosed today is. Um, so maybe I am one of the lucky ones? Mm, question mark. <laughs> I still don't go too hard on the MS research. I mean, you know, if I am given a new medication or something new happens, I will look and see what to expect from it. But I really try to not go down the MS-related rabbit holes on the internet. Sometimes ignorance really is bliss. Um, but Vicky, you say, I went down the rabbit hole. And there's a lot of bad things related to MS that I'm scared might happen to me. And I say to you, you're right. There is a lot of scary things that can happen and do happen with MS. You have to decide how you're going to approach those possibilities, um, what you do with the information that is so wildly available out there. Every MS patient is individual. Um, MS treats people in different ways. Not everybody has the same MS experience I have. I say it all the time that my MS may not look like your MS, but we are still more alike than we are different. We all have this chronic incurable disease that is baffling to everybody around us. And by that I mean everybody. You your family, your friends, your co-workers, and yes, sometimes even your doctor. Your doctor is still your best source of information, however. Ask about your concerns. 
tell your doctor what you are most worried about. They should be able to give you some information, accurate information, things to watch for, steps you can take to prevent those things from happening. Are you on a disease modifying medication? There are a lot out there. Do your research on those. Find one that fits your lifestyle and your circumstances. If the first one you try doesn't work, try another one. Of the three disease modifying medications available when I was diagnosed, I tried two of them. And as new ones have been approved, I look into them. I discuss all of the aspects with not only my doctor, but my family. Are the known side effects things I'm willing to risk to try and hold this thing at bay? Sometimes the answer is a hard no. But I have tried other medications since the first two didn't work. And I will tell you there have been some pretty bad side effects. Um, I did have an anaphylactic reaction to one. Another one made me so physically ill I didn't get through the first week. And, and I had an exacerbation with new symptoms and new lesions on my latest MRI with the last one. It will probably be a while before I try another medication. Believe me, I know how hard it can be to find one you can take. But if you find one, take it. If it stops working, find a new one. After 24 years and five medication failures, I will tell you that I am still willing to try something else. Just not right now. <laughs> Another thing I decided uh, five or six years ago was that not everything is MS. If I have things going on that can be treated, I do it. I may not be able to control my MS, but when I couldn't lift my arm, I had it checked out. It was a bad rotator cuff, so I got it fixed. When my GERD got so bad that I kept thinking I was having a heart attack, it got fixed. My debilitating lower back pain, I get regular SIJ injections. I had a bunion that made it difficult to walk or wear shoes. I got it fixed. If it will make my life better or easier, I'm going to take care of it. And doing that has also made it easier to deal with the day-to-day -day MS difficulties. Because I don't have those things on top of it. Um, this last year has been really rough um, when it comes to MS. I'm more disabled than I used to be. I can't get around like I used to and I'm unable to do little things that I used to have no problem doing. I've been down. Getting new symptoms has been difficult. There have been moments when it just feels like I can't take any more, not even for one more day. But I get through that day, and then the next one, and the next week, and the next month. 2020 has been a fairly rotten year. But I've had more time with my granddaughters. I've had more time with my family in general. Sometimes a little too much time, but we get through that as well. And I think we'll all come out of this a little stronger than we went in. And eventually, we may even get back to normal. You know, whether that means the way it was normal, or this becomes the new normal, we will get to normal. And I know it's easy to focus on what might happen. I've been there. I go there. There are so many different effects of MS and there is no way to know which, if any, will show up in your life. Take the time to research what you need to and try to stay out of the MS rabbit hole on the internet. If I want to know anything MS related, my first go-to is my doctor. That's the best place to get information related to me. And then the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Between those two, I have gotten the information that pertains to me and been able to have a pretty great life, despite what MS wants from me. How you deal with your MS is ultimately up to you. This is just what has been working for me, and some of it may work for you too. Thanks for hanging out with me today. 
Hopefully you learned a little something about MS and maybe even a little bit about me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know what I when I upload a new video, hit the notification bell and be sure to select all to be told when I put up a new one. We appreciate you all so much and I love getting comments on my videos. Remember that you are stronger than you think you are. And also, life doesn't stop just because you have to.